Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Average Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding friends with no mutual friends. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to say the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads We are given a table called friends with two different columns, user ID 1 and user ID 2. The combined columns is the primary key for this table. Each row contains user ID 1, user ID 2, both of whom are friends with each other. We are asked to write a solution to find all pairs of users who are friends with each other and have no mutual friends. Return the result table ordered by user id1 and user id2 in ascending order. Let's go through this example. Here we have certain different combinations of friends, user id1 and user id2. Let us take an example. So, user id1 and 2 are friends with each other, but do they have a mutual friend? If we look at for 1, so 1 is a friend of 5 and 2 is also a friend of 5. So since 1 and 2 are friends and they both have a mutual friend 5, 1 and 2 should not be in the output. Similarly, if you go ahead and do this for everyone, if you look at let's say 6 and 7, 6 and 7 are friends, but 6 is not a friend of anyone else. Similarly, 7 is also not a friend of anyone else. So, 6 and 7 are friends, but they do not have a mutual friend. So, that should be in the output. Similarly, you can go ahead and do for others as well. And that is what we have in our output. So, to solve this question, the first thing that we should keep in mind is that friendships are both ways. That means, when we say 1 is a friend of 2, 2 is also a friend of 1. Right? So, firstly, we need to do that data correction. And once we have that, then we can move forward. So let us do this. So from this table called friends, what we are going to do is let us keep both the columns, right? So select star as it is. And then we are going to perform a union with that this column will be first and this will be second. So that if one is a friend of two, we also have two is a friend of one so that it's easier for us to move ahead. So what we are going to do is select user ID two then user id1 from the friends table and then what we are going to do is let's run this so if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay if we look at this so we had one is a friend of two but now we will also have a friend two is a friend of one okay once we have this what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and now what we are going to do is we need to find that if you look at this we need to find who all are the mutual friends of all these combinations that we have so what we can do is we can perform self join so from cte alias as c1 let us perform a left join of another version of cte this time alias as c2 on c1 dot user id1 is equal to c2 dot user id1 what we are basically doing is consider that if let me just you know scroll it up so here this is what we have in the friends table right so consider this as c1 this as c2 so when i'm doing c1 dot user id1 is equal to c2 dot user id1 so it will find a match that okay 1 2 and then 1 2 so, so this is not helpful for us but if you look at this row so 1 is equal to 1 so if we keep this user id2 column so 1 is a friend of 5 and similarly if we get another ct that is aliased as c3 where we do user id2 is equal to c3 dot user id1 so we can say that if 2 and 5 you get in this right so if i just do this so 2 is equal to 2 so you get you this one right so 5 so in one particular row you will have one is a friend of five and two is also a friend of five that means one and two are friends but they also have a mutual friend called five so we can find the combinations where friends have a mutual friend so let's try to do that so from this combination what i'm going to take is let me keep so select c1 dot star and then from c2 dot user id2 right so this will be let's alias this as friend one and let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we see. Okay. If I scroll it up. So this is what we have. So one is a friend of one and two are friends. One has friend five as well. Similarly, we can do that for user ID two as well. So what we are going to do is let's perform another join. So left to join 
CTE aliased as C3 this time on C1 dot user ID 2 is equal to C3 dot user ID 1 and what we are going to keep is C3 dot user ID 2 as F2 right and if F1 and F2 are same that means they have a same mutual friend right so if i go ahead and look at this so you get different combinations and here if you look at this row so one and two are friends and we saw in the example that one is a friend of five two is also a friend of five so that means one and two have a mutual friend five so we are only concerned about keeping those combinations where we have a mutual friend how can we do that is let us do this keep only those rows where c2 dot user id 2 is equal to right so this is equal to c3 dot user id 2 that means they both have a same friend that means it becomes a mutual friend so if i go ahead and run this so what we have here is we have these combinations that means one and two have a mutual friend five two and three have a mutual friend four two and four have a mutual friend three and so on right so once we have this basically these combinations are those people from this table friends table who have a mutual friend so what we can do is let's save this entire thing in another common table expression so cte2 as this entire thing goes into parentheses right and then what we are going to do is from the initial friends table what do we want in our question friends with no mutual friends we from this common table expression to have a list of all those combinations who actually have a mutual friend so our task is now easy what we are going to do is keep only those rows where the combination of user id 1 and user id 2 is not in the combination that we have in so return will return me user id 1 and user id 2 from the common table expression 2 because this is where we have the combinations with mutual friend so whenever it is not in that that means these are the people who are going to have no mutual friend and let me keep both the columns and we should order by user id 1 and user id 2 in ascending order so order by user id 1 and user id 2 let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so yeah if you look at this this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to so pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes tricky question what we basically had to do was if i scroll up firstly since friendship can be two way what we did was we are performing a union so that if we say one is a friend of two then two is also a friend of one we save this common table expression called ct and we performed a couple of self joins using the left join where we've tried to find out okay user id 1 who all the friends they have and then user id 2 who all the friends they have and kept only those rows where both of them have the same friends that means they have a mutual friend we stored that information in ct2 and then from the friends table we excluded all those rows who have a mutual friend so that is how we got the answer to the question so this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better, more efficient solution to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.